everyone, this is Corpse from Falk's Nose, and today I'm showing you guys how to use the Citizen plugin. Installing the plugin is very easy to do. Go ahead and just go to the Jenkins link. Go to the latest build and go ahead and just click on the jar file that's the latest. And in your control panel, just click on your server and in the sidebar, go down to the file management. Go to your plugins folder and you want to go and click on upload. Once done, go ahead and reboot your server and we can go ahead and start using the Citizen plugin. Creating an NPC is very easy to do. Uh, when creating it, um, it's going to be spawned in the exact spot you're in and it's just not going to be like block by block. So if they're in like in between these four blocks here, it would also go in between those four blocks. So we're going to just create these four platforms. So I'll put them there as an example. I'm gonna go ahead and just center myself so that when I create this NPC, it would also be centered. Then to create it, you're gonna use the command slash NPC create. And then you're gonna go ahead and put the name of the name if you want to use a player model. If you want to use something like a cat or a wolf, you will go to type and type wolf or cat and then go ahead and type in the name of what you want the NPC to say. In this case, I want to show the tutorial text right on top of it. Just like that, the NPC has been created with the word tutorial on the top. Modifying the NPC is a very, also very easy to do. So maybe you like, like want to modify the name, the model, or the skin. You can also have it, of course set up where if a player goes near it, it will look at them. So let's go ahead and just try rename the, the NPC first. So you're going to want to go ahead and select it first, which is going to be NPC selected. And if a crosshair is looking at that NPC, that is the one that's going to be selected. And then we can go use NPC rename. Well, I'll go ahead and just rename this to tutorial 2. Now, like I said, you can also change the model, so we can use slash NPC type cat, or we can also do wolf, and if it is an animal, like a cow or wolf, you can also do wolf s to make it sit down, or if it's a cat, you can also make the cat lay down. I'm going to put it back to player and show you guys how to make it look at the player when they're all going up to it. And this is going to be so by making it just type in look and now it should look at me every time I move. And if you want to disable that, you can also go ahead and just type in the command again. Changing the skin is also easy. Just use slash NPC skin and then the username or URL. But in this case, I'm going to use a username. So as an example, I'll change it to jab underscore. Just so that I also got the cape and of course the skin. And we're gonna move on to the next thing that we can do with the NPC. There's also other cool things that we can do with the NPC. And so in this case, uh, we can actually have the NPC float. So actually, uh, by default, the gravity for the NPC is actually turned on. So if I were to hit this under here, the NPC will go down onto the uh, oak wood here. I can actually change this by, of course, using the command NPC gravity. So now if I were to hit, hit, hit these blocks under here, it will just float. 
I can also move the NPC by I'm gonna go ahead and move it here on this onto this platform. And I can do this by using slash NPC move. And just like that, the NPC has been moved. There's also all sorts of other things that you can do with the NPC when modifying it. I will put a wiki in the description below on other stuff that you can do. We'll go ahead and move on to the next thing. So adding commands to the NPC is also a cool thing that you can do. And basically when you add commands to it, it will activate when a player right clicks on it. So maybe I want to say something, or of course, also uh, commonly people will have them set up to make them teleport to a different world or server. Since I'm on a Bungie server, I'm going to set this one up to transfer me to a different server. I'll also put an uh, example if you are using multiverse. So of course to add a command, you're going to use slash npc command add hyphen p and then go ahead and put in the command you want to use uh, so for, for bungee cord it's going to be something like server and then a server name so in this case i'm only going to use bedwars if you're a multiverse you're going to use, use something like instead of using your server bedwars you're going to probably do something like mvtp bedwars so now if i right click on it it will bring me to the bedwars lobby also created another one here in the Battle Wars lobby that actually returns me back to the lobby. If you want to change that command, all you gotta do is do slash npc command remove zero and then go ahead and just put in something else. So maybe I want to change it to server survival. It will bring me to the survival world. Besides modifying the NPC, we can also go ahead and just control it instead. So go ahead and just select the NPC you want to control. And then go ahead and use NPC controllable. So now when you use slash NPC mount, you'll be mounted on top of the NPC. And now when you use your WASD keys, you can actually control the NPC. Also, you want to make sure that gravity is also turned off before doing this. So now I want to use my keys to move my player around. The NPC actually gets moved around. I'll also use uh, slash finish so that it doesn't look all weird. So now, so now, no matter where I want to go, the NPC will go instead. If this is too slow for you, you can always change the configuration of the speed in the config file. And to unmount from the NPC, just use the shift key to unmount. So, you can also make the NPC, uh, instead of controlling them, you can actually make it move around by, of course, giving them a path. So, what I can do here is what I'm going to make it do. So I'm actually gonna make it go over here and when it does detect something it will actually jump over or of course do move uh, of course just go around it if there is a space to do that and I'm gonna go over here but I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of this in the way so now I'm gonna go ahead and just use NPC path it, what it's gonna do is put me into the path editor so all I gotta do is of course right click on where I want it to go so I made left click and I'm going to bring it over here so what it's going to do is it's going to go and just jump over it and I want to go over here it does go around sometimes I think it has to be higher and of course right clicking does remove all white points so let's go put those white points back down again and to exit the path editor, you're going to use npc slash path again. So 
So this time it should go around the wall. Just like that. Yeah, it is actually pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just remove all the paths from the uh, NPC so it will stand still. And exit the path editor. This is all I'm going to be doing for this video. And if this did help, go ahead and leave a like. And if you are having any troubles with the Citizen plugin, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do.